Radio. So this is the flood and drain system that I set up. It's in this side is going to be flood and drain. This side is going to be constant flow. We have the standpipe, the guard. Everything is exactly the same as the constant flow. The only difference is the bell. Now in this case, I'm using a 65 mil PVC pipe and a very tight cap. I actually did not glue it on, but it's on so tight that I can't pull it off. Um, but you can see we've got three holes that have been cut out, which can be interesting, and I will show you how to do that. You need to make sure, you know, these are about a centimetre high. Um, and by popping it over, see at the moment, this is filling up to be a flood and drain, right? Same process, it will, sorry, constant flow, just coming up and if we left it it will get to this level and then stay at this level right but if we add what we call bell siphon which is this what this is doing is the water will go up and fill up this whole section this whole bell and as soon as the water level is above here it siphons all of the water out back into the fish tank which is a really awesome process um, whoever thought about this hands up and I really should know who, who did it but um, I don't but it's an awesome thing because then all the water then drains out and as soon as you've got the water lock happening it just drains all that water out and as soon as the grow bed empties what happens then the air you get air going back in that little drain part so air will end up coming in through here and when that happens that breaks the water lock and it means it then fills up again so the water then will fill up the grow bed so this is definitely a good way of running system, but people do have trouble building their, their bell siphon and building it as a flood and drain. You've just got to make sure that you get everything happening quite right. But it's the same process, you're just adding a bell. So if you do actually have trouble with your bell siphon getting this whole thing to work, just remember, you can take the bell off and have what we have over here, which is just your constant flow system. So the water is constantly at this level. Got your guards in there. Your piping that you're using will vary simply depending on what type of grow bed you're building and what your system is doing. Okay, so I've done is 20 mil here. Um, generally, I use 50 mil around my larger aquaponics system, but uh, and I'm really not one for irrigation plumbing. But on a small little system like this, it works really, really well. On a bigger system, you're needing a much stronger form of plumbing. Okay, so I have used irrigation and the aquarium hoses here. And I am aware that I will end up getting algae through these hoses, so black hoses here would be a better option. I just don't have any, so I'm using what I currently have until I get more. Which, knowing me, will happen. Your system is based on what you need, but by having an understanding of how it works, you can then mould it to what you want. Okay, so good luck. I can't wait to see photos and videos. And the water level's getting up, and as soon as there's no more air in there. What's happening is the water, as it's rising up into the bell, it's pushing all of the air out down into the standpipe and down into our grow bed. And any moment that should start to kick in, you can start to see some of the water on the edges. Well, I can see it. I don't know if the camera can. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see. It's nearly there. But now we'll come back down here because this is always where the fun part is, isn't it? And you can see the water's now starting. Pushing the air out, pushing the air out, pushing the air out. And now we've got the full water lock happening. And now we have the full siphon happening. Just speeding up the um, the draining section because it's a bit boring to watch, frankly. <laughs> it takes a while. Okay, so now we're back in to have a look at the inside the grow bed. In here, the pump was running a little bit fast. And so what was happening was... Um, it was just not actually completely draining out. There would always just be a constant small little trickle coming through and that siphon itself wasn't breaking. So I had to adjust the valves a little bit to get that to actually get that to break. You can see here it has reduced, but it's still got water coming through and that's purely because the pump was on too high. So this is the benefit of the valves to be able to let me do this. And now, now you see it completely broken, all good.